Hotep Senu Hena Senut Eitiren Inshaka Nugu Kemet. I hope you're doing well. Greetings to all. I want to tell you a little story. As you can see, I'm in my car. I'm waiting because I have to work somewhere. And um, there's a black man who passed by and he said, Hello, do you speak English? And I said, Yes. And I expected him to ask me for direction. And he asked me if I wanted a prayer. I said, No, it's fine. And he introduced himself as a pastor. He told me that he was on a world tour and uh, we spoke for about five minutes. Now, as we were talking, he was writing down. He, he told me that he will write his uh, phone number for me. He asked me my name, I asked him his. His name starts with a J, like Jesus, but you know, I don't need to just reveal his name. It's, it's not necessary. So I scribbled out his phone number, but he was writing as we spoke. And those are Bible passages. Uh, you know, you have uh, different passages. So we have Isaiah 33 something. We have uh, John 1, 1 9, John 14 14, and, and you know, all that good stuff. So I told him at one point, you know, if you will ha if we will uh, go to a museum in Paris and say museum, I say yes. I say because you know the Louvre Museum it is worthwhile to go and visit it. You know, in the Department of Ancient Egypt, he didn't reply anything, which lets me know that he's not interested in that. And the sad thing is that he was not really listening. You know, and pastors are used to teaching to their congregation and. Um, the, the main thing I want to say, because I want to make this video short, is that he told me that the Ark of Covenant was found and is in Turkey. <laughs> and I told him, first he said, there's an Ark of Covenant in Ethiopia. And I said, no. And then he said, but you're not letting me finish. And I said, if it was found, people would know. He said, there is an Ark of Covenant in Ethiopia with some scrolls inside and People, have to, in order for people to access it, you know, they have to go through some validation, for lack of a better word. You know, I'm paraphrasing, but I use a word of, you know, that that uh, persuasion. Uh, and later on, you know, as we were about to finish, he told me that the Ark of Covenant was found in that, that it's in Turkey. So I told him the same thing. I said, no, if it was there, people would know about it. And he said, but it's online. It's on the Internet. And I said, can you show me? And he said, well, you have a phone. You can have a look. And then I said, well, you have a phone as well, you know. But then he rushed to leave and I told him that we don't have any record for uh, Jesus during his lifetime and then he talked about Moses and he said Moses wrote the first five books and you know just this morning I was listening to the good brother Chris MVP Harris and he was talking to somebody and the person asked ask him a question like, you know, how is it invalid? Like the Torah, Exodus, how is it invalid? And then Chris Harris said, because he described his own death. <laughs> so I told him, no, Moses didn't write the first five books. And then he asked me why. And I said, because he described his own death. And no, no man can describe his own death. And first he was like, hard for him to understand. So I had to repeat it. And then he told me, well, you know, he had a relationship with God and God can show you your future. He told me that he knows some lady and God foretold her that she will have children, you know, so she saw her children before they were actually born. And I said, you know, that's stuff you're telling me now, you know, that's not in the Bible. You just made that up. And then he started starting, start say, saying this revelation and, you know, stuff that inspired and all that. So all this to say that it's sad sometimes when people uh, make stuff up in order to validate their own argument, you know? And I kid you not, I first thought, should I ask him if he doesn't mind that we, you know, I, rec I, rec I record the conversation? But I thought to myself, he's not really letting me speak. Um, so if he knows it is recorded, he will let me speak even less. So I thought, okay, forget about it. Some people will listen to what you have to say and they will try to, you know, but he's like, because it's a pastor, he's just replying something, even if it's besides the point. So I wish him well. If by any chance he happens to come across this video, then please show me the Ark of Covenant in Turkey. You know, but you cannot just believe anything you hear or anything you see. Uh, when I told him about history, he said that history is man-made. <laughs> anyway, stay safe, stay healthy. And if I'm allowed to, but in the world, definitely holler back at you, hotel.